Good morning, everybody. It's your boy, Jay Mack, and welcome to Bigfoot Input. First off, I want to thank everybody for their support on the Patreon account. Um, if you want to support the channel, also, there's one extra video over there. Uh, it's a dollar a month, and it's at, like, patreon.com, works slash workspace, Bigfoot Input. I don't know. The link's in the bio. But I want to talk about this picture today. This picture comes out of... British Columbia, Canada, a town called Kelowna, and a lake called Okanagan Lake. And if I mispronounced any of those things, oh well, I'm not Canadian. Let's talk about the folklore behind the Ogopogo. The Ogopogo was the spirit of the lake. And to gain safe passage, you had to bring a sacrifice like a chicken or a goat. Well, at some point or another, the spirit of the lake felt disrespected and turned itself into a physical being, which is a reptilian creature, much like the Loch Ness Monster, Champ, Tessie, etc. So, this is supposed to be a picture of the Ogopogo, and maybe it is. It's interesting enough. It's got the ears sticking out of the water. Yeah, it kind of looks like a dragon face. Almost a wolf, really. But uh, it's interesting. But I want to submit this. At Lake Okanagan, every year, they have something called the Dragon Boat Races, where they dress up their boats like dragons, and they have these sort of canoe-type races, you know, like paddle boats. What if this is just one of those dragon homage things from the front of the boat that has fallen in the water and now just resides in the lake almost like some litter that we left behind yeah okay that's interesting maybe if i'm wrong and that's not it then this creature is resting below the waters of lake okanagan and that's kind of scary all right, you guys tell me what you think in the comments, please. I'm, I'm interested to know, all right? Anyway, this is J-Mac out. Keep it weird.